Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this Halloween mermaid inspired look. By the way, I'm not naked, <laughs> just to be clear. Before we get started, I want to kindly ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I do a lot of makeup content and I upload videos every Monday and Friday, so make sure you stick around. I started the look by applying my Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow, in which I scraped a little bit of blue eyeshadow from the Ace Boutte Slice of Paradise palette to create that blue skin. And I realized that I like this technique a lot more than using face paint because it sits way nicer on the skin. At this point I was so scared of my face being stained blue for days. So. I made sure to cover very well my face, neck and chest area. And then I did the same thing with the concealer, so I mixed the concealer with some blue and then white eyeshadow to make it a little bit lighter. And used that mixture to conceal my under eyes and also highlight the center of my face. To avoid any creasing or transferring, I use my RCMA No Color Powder to set everything in place. And then I use this thing that came with my wig, I'm not sure how it's called, but I used it to create that mermaid tail skin texture. And I contoured my face with a little bit of the purple from the James Charles palette by Morphe. And make sure to really get into that hairline, don't make the same mistake that I did because I wasn't paying attention to my hairline and I had to fix it afterwards. Then I'm highlighting my face with some purple duochrome highlighter from the Sigma Chroma Glow palette. I feel like it fits perfectly with this look. I kind of skipped blush for this look because I was like, what color of blush do blue sea creatures wear? <laughs> Like I told you, my hairline came out a mess, so I had to fix it by adding more purple into the hairline. I also used a little bit of that purple to contour my neck and chest area to make everything look more cohesive. I did my brows using my Sephora Collection Blue Liquid Eyeshadow and an angled brush. For my eyes I did a blue and purple combo, I started with the blue in the Ace Boutte Slice of Paradise palette to go in my inner portion. And on my outer portion I used two purple shades from the James Charles palette, one lighter to go as a kind of a transition and a dark one to kind of deepen my outer corner. And also use the glittery purple from the James Charles palette to go in the center of my lid. And I use the same highlighting palette from Sigma to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. On my waterline I applied the NYX slide on pencil in the shade Azure. And then I use this glitter from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics to apply kind of everywhere using my fingers but especially in my chest area. On my lips I used the duochrome lip gloss from NYX. 
but I realized that my lips were lacking that contour so I used a, a pencil from Makeup Forever to shape them added some pearls around my eyes and I used lash glue to stick them. To finish the eye look I applied a little bit of mascara and then some false lashes. I used my dual lash glue and applied it on the band and let it dry for 50-60 seconds, something like this, and then apply the lashes. I did these little fish fins using cardboard and some paint and I stick them in front of my ears using lash glue. I brush my hair several times using a wet brush to kind of damp my hair. Also added some contact lenses and this is the finished look. I really hope you like it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!